everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious lamb chop. These lamb chops right here, so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make them Jeannie Young style, they're going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my lamb chops before. I'm going to make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first ingredient that you will need is some nice fresh lamb chops. So here are my beautiful lamb chops that I have washed off with cold water and apple cider vinegar. I didn't use the uh, lemon or lime like I would usually use because I find when you wash off lamb chops with apple cider vinegar, it gives it a great taste. You will need some fresh garlic, so we're just gonna use one garlic clove. You will need some fresh thyme. And over here, a really interesting ingredient, we have some cherry preserves. If we make our way back over this way, we're gonna be using some sweet cream butter. We have a little bit of um, chicken broth. And on the side of our lamb chops, we're gonna make some flavored rice. So I have some rice pilaf we're gonna make, and you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. Here's what you need this way. You will need some paprika, some parsley flakes just to make everything nice and beautiful, and some black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. The holiday is right around the corner, and you all are looking for that perfect dish to put on your family's dinner table. This right here is definitely something you can make Lamb chops, they're small, but you can make a whole lot of them, and everyone is going to go nuts over this here recipe. It's gonna be kind of savory, but yet it's gonna have a little bit of a sweet taste because we are using um, the cherry jelly. Okay, so what we wanna do first of all is go ahead, like I said, give them a nice wash, pat them dry with a paper towel, and I wanna go ahead and season, and we're gonna season both sides. When I season one side of a meat, it's typically because the meat is really thin. But since this meat is kind of thick, we're gonna go ahead and season both sides. We're gonna season it well. Don't be afraid to season. So what we're doing is we're putting some black pepper on, and then we're gonna put some paprika, just like so. And what I wanna do is I really want to let these spices kind of seep down into this lamb chop for at least 15 minutes before we cook it, okay? And so I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I make lamb chops, all you really need is salt and pepper. But I do want that smokiness from the paprika. This is not smoked paprika though. This is just regular paprika. I do want the color from the parsley flakes, but like I said, when you make it, you really only just need salt and pepper. Let's get some salt on just like so, just a little bit on both sides beautiful and when you take this out of the refrigerator don't cook it right away it's very important that you let the meat kind of hang out of the refrigerator for a while let that chill come off so it's not so cold when it hits that frying pan because if it's really cold when it hits the frying pan what will happen is the meat will go into shock and when it cooks up it's going to be dry so let it kind of hang out on the counter for a little while just like so we're going to let this set for 15 minutes give a chance for the chill to come off and it'll also give a chance for the spices to soak in. Meanwhile, when I come back, we'll get started on our rice pilaf. So now what we're gonna do, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love to make rices like this. This rice pilaf, you can also find the couscous and you can find um, like Mexican rice. You can find all kind of rices that comes in a box like this that is delicious. And anytime I get a chance to, even for the holidays, I'll make something like this, make a couple boxes, and everyone goes nuts over it. Feels like you made it homemade. So what I'm doing is, I don't know if you all could see, but I had about three tablespoons of vegetable oil in my pan, and I'm gonna cook this rice until it gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown and nutty. And when I come back, I'll show you all what you need to do next. So now you all can see that golden brown nutty flavor. The darker it gets, the more flavor. That's the color that you're wanting. So what you didn't see off camera was I put about a, a half of a teaspoon of chicken powder in with our rice. 
Now you're gonna put the seasoning in, and this box calls for two cups of water. I'm gonna scoot far back so that steam does not go into my camera. Just like so. And I'm gonna give this a mix around. We're gonna bring it up to a boil, and as soon as it starts to boil, I'm gonna turn it on low and cook it for 20 minutes. It's gonna turn out perfect every time. So now that we have our rice pilaf going, now it's a perfect time to get started on your lamb chops. If, you, if you've never made lamb chops before, or you've never ever tried it, don't knock it. I always say, I always say it, don't knock it until you try it, it's so delicious. It puts you in the mind frame of like a juicy ribeye steak. Really, it does. It does have a different flavor. But give it a try and let me know if you all like it. So now, I'm typically not a person that loves to use fresh thyme. I will use it in a recipe if I feel like the recipe needs it. And I feel like this recipe needs some fresh thyme, so we're going to use it a little bit. But I'm not going to... I'll, I'll show you how I like to use it in the perfect time to take it out so that time is not so strong. But then again, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to infuse our oil. I have a little bit of oil in my pan. What I want to do is I want to knock that garlic just like so. We've already taken the skin off. Hold on, I got a little bit more skin on there. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. We don't want garlic skin in our dish, right? So now what we're gonna do, let's get this garlic into the pan and I have some vegetable oil in my pan. Just put it right there. Let's infuse our oil with garlic and with the fresh thyme. Let's, let's get this really perfumed with that garlic flavor and that thyme flavor. And literally in about three to four minutes, we'll take the thyme out. If you want a more stronger thyme flavor, you leave your thyme in a little bit longer. As soon as this garlic gets golden brown, we're gonna take it out because our oil will be nice and infused. So if we take a look over here into our pan, the garlic is really letting off so much flavor. It's beginning to get golden brown, and before it burns, go ahead and take it out. And like I said, if you wanna leave your thyme in a little bit longer, go ahead. But if you wanna take it out now, that's fine as well. So our oil is so flavorful right now. How I like to cook my lamb chops is Butter naturally burns at a high temperature, but when you mix it in with oil, it won't burn as quickly. So we want the flavor from the butter and we want the help from the oil, you know, so that your butter does not burn. Let's go ahead and use about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half, okay? So going right into the pan, just like so. Once this gets hot and bubbly and our butter gets melted, we'll go ahead and put our lamb chops right into the pan with the butter and the oil infused with our thyme and our garlic when I come back. Time to make some noise. Go ahead and get your lamb chops right into the flavored oil and butter. And we're just gonna let it get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Lamb chops don't take a long time to cook. You can do the same recipe that we're making today in the oven. You can do it on your George Foreman grill, or you even can do it on a grill outside. In every way that you make it, gonna be tasty. My grandma Lucille would make uh, lamb chops and when she made hers she would always go out and buy a mint jelly and she would have like white rice underneath the lamb chops and we, she would have like this bright green mint jelly because they do say that mint goes perfect with lamb chops and I, I do agree but I like to switch things around a little bit and let's just use this cherry uh, cherry preserves. It's gonna give you such a sweet taste that's not overwhelming because it's just gonna be savory, but just the hint of that cherry in the back of your palate. And I'll tell you the perfect time that we're going to incorporate the cherries with our lamb. So we're just gonna let it go until we get that nice, beautiful golden brown color. And the lamb chops, they're gonna give you an indication because what you're gonna see is that nice, beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom. Once you see that, go ahead and flip those babies over. So now I'm starting to see that beautiful golden brown ring that I was speaking about. Look at that. Now that is what I call color. Let's turn all of them over just like that. And what I'm gonna do that's very interesting is I'm gonna throw these babies in a 400 degree oven for around about seven to 10 minutes because I wanna be assured that my um, lamb is done in the inside. Now, if you're that person you want yours done 
you know, kind of medium, go ahead and finish it this way. But if you want it well done and you want it to remain nice and juicy, throw it in the oven 400 degrees just for a few minutes. And if you have an internal thermometer, go ahead and throw your thermometer in there. And then you'll know exactly once it reaches 165, it's done. So when I come back, this will be out of the oven. We're going to plate this up. I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all are looking for a Christmas dish. This is it. Do the young style. Going in the oven. We're going to put them in the oven until they are well done. When I come back, I'm going to share with you all how to make this amazing sauce. And I'm going to give you some options just in case you're that person that says, I don't like cherry preserves. Let's just say you are that person that says, I don't like cherry preserves. There's always, there's always somebody out there that says they don't like, like how I'm doing. So now, if you wanted to, you could use a like a peach preserves. You can use an orange marmalade. Possibilities are endless. Whatever kind of preserves you like, that's what you can use. And like I said, now, you don't have to go the sweet, savory way if you don't want to. I suggest you do. But if you don't want to, that's okay. These will be delicious, you know, without the sweet. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put, look at this, we got a bunch of this fond. And what fond is, is all those beautiful crunchy bits of all of the seasoning and flavor that's come off that meat. Okay, and we got that butter and that flavored oil. We're gonna put a little tiny bit of chicken broth right there into our pan and what's that what that's going to do is it's going to pick up all those juicy bits like literally you can see the flavor in there like i can drink this right now right off of a flip-flop you bet i could so now what we're going to do i'm going to put in about two tablespoons and it's it's a tape you know a house tablespoon i'm going to use two just like this and we're going to just do a number like this you can use a whisk if you wanted to and we're gonna really let that dissolve down into that broth and we're gonna have an amazing flavor. Now this is gonna reduce down a little bit and get kind of thick. When I come back, we'll be taking our lamb chops out of the oven and then we're gonna submerge them back into this amazing goodness right here. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. So I'm fanning away some of the smoke because I, I, want, I want, don't want the smoke in the camera. You can see how the sauce has reduced down and we're going to round it off. A teaspoon of butter is going to really round it off. And what I've done is, um, you know how there are some cherry pieces in there? You can do this. Or if you're that person that says, well, I don't want the cherry pieces. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to strain your sauce. This sauce is going to continue to get nice and thick and, you know, I have to taste it. I just have to. I got. I gotta taste it to see how happy. I love this flavor together. Oh, mmm, it's so good. All right, that's what I'm looking for. Our meat is almost done. Like I said, when I come back, we'll say a prayer. You all are gonna get to taste. Our lamb chops are out of the oven. They only cooked for about 10 minutes and they are well done and nice and juicy. So now what I'm gonna do, take a look over here at our beautiful cherry glaze. It's like I said, it's savory and a little sweet. Go ahead and put these babies right in there. <laughs> Ooh, listen here. If you just want the bottom coated, keep it like that. But here at the Young's house, we're going to take and coat it all over. We're going to do the top as well. Oh, my mouth is salivating. Let me know right now in the comment section below if your mouth is salivating and your stomach is rumbling like mine is. Look at that, gorgeous. This right here is amazing. Make you some for your holiday. You know, me and my husband was talking and he was asking me, he said, so what are some of the things that people like to make for Christmas? And I really couldn't think of anything so bad. I wanted to think of something and I told him, well, Christmas cookies is definitely a definite for Christmas and eggnog and he's like, but what else? You know, I really couldn't think of anything. So what I'm gonna be doing this month is I'm gonna actually be doing a video. Every day that I do a video for December, we're gonna do just like we did for Thanksgiving. Every video that's made in December is gonna be a holiday dish that you all could have on your Christmas dinner. Now this is done, let's go ahead and pray it up, plate it up and say our prayer. Listen everybody, if you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, 
What are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. We thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style. Sweet. Cherry glazed lamb chops. Make you some. Ooh, look at that. Woo, look at that. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Look at this. Just look. Now I have family coming over, so we're not going to take a bite, but you all could imagine. Just imagine. Look at this. What I am going to do, I will pick one up. Look at that. Oh, it's juicy. It kind of reminds you. Like I said, of a ribeye steak. Look at that baby right there. Oh, yes. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Good night.